Good morning and welcome to the fifth and final vlog from my trip to Poland. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've really enjoyed it. And if you've not already seen the vlogs, make sure you check them out. Uh, firstly, there was my travel vlog from the UK here to Poland. Uh, show you my accommodation, a few hints and tips for if you plan to do it yourself. And also talking a little bit about the costs of it as well and how cheap it's actually been to do this trip. Second day, I went to the Legendia Amusement Park, which is actually located just behind me over there. But uh, more about that in just a second. Uh, and then of course on my second full day and third full day I went to Energylandia down in Zeta and uh, had an absolutely fantastic time saw the park for my first ever visit did the 12 coasters including Hyperion uh, all the vlogs full of on ride POVs so make sure you check them out but yes, so when I was at Legendia earlier in the week, I saw a cable car in the background, and if you've watched that vlog, you'll have heard me speaking about it. And uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was part of the park or not. I mean, before I came out here, I did a bit of research on the park to see what there was, and I saw no mention of a cable car, so I was quite surprised to see it in the backdrop. And you know, if you've watched the channel for a while, uh, or know me personally, that I've always enjoyed monorails, trains, cable cars, all that kind of stuff. And when I saw this here uh, from the park, I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to check that out because today is Saturday uh, I fly home later this evening and uh, yeah today was like a bonus day just in case something was closed like the let coaster uh, or Hyperion I could have gone to the park to get it I like to do that I like to plan in advance and think oh if something's broke I've got a spare day especially when it's my first time coming somewhere but uh, yeah anyway so I saw the cable car and I thought right I'm coming back to it today uh, to come and see it so uh, it's about quarter to 11 and it opens in about 15 minutes and uh, yeah this is actually located in a huge park Legendia the amusement park's just behind me over there and uh, we'll get some great aerial views in this vlog but uh, look at the size of this park it's absolutely massive I didn't realize that uh, Legendia was just a small part of a huge recreational area there's another little kids amusement park there's no coaster credits though because I've checked as I would have got them but uh, yeah like all this area here is a huge piece of Greenland in the middle of the city and it's crazy really there's like a little uh, train that runs around I'd like to try and do that if I can find out where you get on it I'm not too sure and I've not seen it going round but uh, yeah no testing taking place along with that there's like a high ropes course uh, there's a planetarium there's a stadium there's all sorts of stuff but uh, yeah so anyway I'm gonna go on this cable car and I'm really looking forward to it now the eagle eye viewers will have noticed over the past few minutes if you look just down here behind me obviously I can't get in there any closer yet because the gates are closed but uh, yeah you've got some of the old cable cars there because mainly and these old gondolas here used to operate on a really old uh, system that used to be here and then it closed in the early 2000s uh, and there wasn't a cable car here in the park for seven years until 2013 when it actually reopened and uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to it I believe the layout is something like 2,000 meters 2,200 meters something along those lines uh, it's the only lowland cable car in Poland and also the only one to feature uh, like a two style gondola system so you've got the eight seater uh, uh, big gondolas like those just there uh, and I assume the old system never used to have those but you've also got that classic style uh, like these ones just here obviously they're from the old system I presume but uh, yeah you've got like the little four-seater ski lift style ones as well uh, all running on the same system so what I'm hoping to do is get the cable car one way uh, and, and get in a gondola and get it the other way uh, and have my feet dangling on the ski lift style one but uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it like I say if you want to come and find it it's literally just behind the park and uh, yeah it might you might not be all into this sort of thing but uh, anything to do with entertainment and recreational stuff I love it and leisure it's fantastic but uh, yeah I don't know the cost of it or anything like that according to TripAdvisor it's quite cheap though and uh, yeah it's called the Elka cable car but uh, yeah so I'm just gonna wait by this gate for it to open only about 10 minutes to go now and uh, yeah let's get on this cable car along with showing this I'm gonna have of course lots of aerial shots of the park including some different angles of let coaster hopefully I'll time it while on the train will be going round but I'll also use this time to reminisce on the trip and talk a little bit about how it's all gone so the gates just opened and the first one in and here's a map of the whole park I did not realize quite how big it was so that little corner just down there is Legendia and that is the entire park I didn't even realize there's a zoo there uh, there's the planetarium up at the top uh, all sorts of footpaths and cycle paths throughout there's the stadium and uh, yeah that's where the cable car is going to take me to so I'll get to see that of course aerial views all over these lakes here should be really nice I'm looking forward to this actually and uh, yeah it doesn't oh, it does mark the train there you go so it starts there and then it runs all oh my god all the way round to there oh, I'd like to try and do that if I can uh, find where we go for it looks like it's just out 
side the front actually of the park so yeah we'll find out but uh right let's go and find out how much this costs uh, oh do we pay at these machines do we There's, is that a ticket booth there there's some machines i'm not too sure let's go and find out that's the fun of it So that was much easier to work out than expected. All you need to do was just select English on the screens. I wasn't too sure if they were going to actually have the English option on there, um, but they did. And uh, yeah, happy days. So for a single journey, I can't believe how cheap it is. I can see why people said that on TripAdvisor. Uh, for a single journey, it works out at uh, about two pounds, and for a return, it's about three pounds. Uh, Cause it's 10 Polish slotty uh, one way and it's 15 for a return ticket. Can we get these? Oh, I see that. So uh, just getting a bit of airing up the top, is it? Right, there we go. We can see uh, Tornado down there. Some really nice aerial views and lap coasters coming up shortly. But yeah, I can't believe it from that map, just how big this is. You just don't realize, I mean, obviously the tallest ride at uh, Legendia, coaster-wise, is obviously lap coaster and then the Ferris wheel's the other tall ride. And even from there, you couldn't really tell how big this area is. But uh, yeah, the fact there's a zoo over there as well, I did not realise. Let me move on to this side. The guy spoke basic English there as well. He just, uh, he said to me, open or closed? Uh, so obviously I've gone for the closed one first and then I'll get the open one back. Oh wow, great views of black from up here. But yeah, I might even have another go for that price. That's crazy, that is. Three pound for a return. I mean, for this thing back home, I say that, look at the um, Emirates cable car down in London, if you've ever done it, by the O2. Uh, like, I'm not too sure off hand how much it costs. Can't really remember now, but it certainly wasn't that cheap. Probably double that. But, uh, oh wow, that looks great from this angle. It feels like ages, you know, since I was riding like. Come on, let's have it going round now, please. That would be lovely. <laughs> if not, we've got another chance to get it on the way back. But uh, yeah, like you can't even see the end of this. It just runs all the way down there. I think I can just see the corner of the stadium in the distance. But yeah, fantastic. People said it lasts about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, there we go. It's just about to dispatch by the looks of it. Old let coaster. Oh yeah, so say old, it's uh, just that the saying, isn't it? It's actually brand new, it only opened last year. Oh, there it goes, good timing. Up that lift still, nice and quick up the lift on this one as well. You might just be able to get it coming around this nice bit of banking. Wow, what a great ride, a really nice themed experience. I've done some brilliant Vacoma roller coasters and uh, oh, that's a really nice angle of it from here. Oh wow, yeah, worth coming on just for these views. Oh, I'm just gonna go behind the tree and miss it. No! <laughs> Like I said, I might have another go anyway. And we got another chance of seeing it go round when I come back. There we is, just going round. There we go. Some more of the uh, park just down here. So this part of the cable car actually runs over the park land because there's their primitive fence, the uh, green fence there. Dragon Wrestling Tournament. That was certainly a very intense ride. It went on for about six minutes. Diamond River, log flume. Right. This is all uh, new territory now. I don't really have a clue what we're going to see down here. But is that a is that a pony going on down there? It's a pony ride. Loads of people are cycling and enjoying it. It's very hot in here though, very hot. So I look forward to going on the uh, on the outdoor one for my return journey. I'll show you the uh, the ticket as well. There you go. Let's wait for that to focus for you. There you go. You can just see the uh, the ticket there. It's got the date on there. It does say. Uh, just two-way ticket on there. Yeah, what's this coming up down here? Some sort of uh, paddling pool or something. God, it's huge, isn't it? Oh, and there's the stadium. It looks very similar, actually, to our Olympic stadium design. What's now a, it's a football ground, isn't it now? Is it an Arsenal ground? I'm not too sure. You know me in sport, I don't really know a lot about it. We've got a bit of information here about some guy. I'm not too sure who he is, but he lived from 1830 to 1916, just on there. Very nice and peaceful on here though. This is the sort of one where you, you don't want any audio or anything because it's nice just as it is. Let's move on to this side again. Oh, what a lovely part. Oh, a bunch of trampolines down there. They don't look like they're gonna be operating today though. Huge open area. 
all the gardens and everything there, nice cafe and that, oh that's good. Somewhere to get something to eat. Hey, if you like French fries, get yourself down to that place. Loads on that board. Some big gates down there. Yeah, it's lovely, really nice. Oh, that's nice, there's some sort of fates going on down there. This uh, water could do with cleaning though, just down here. I mean, look at this. Some sort of plastic trough. And uh, yeah, is it just a pond? Yeah, I thought it was like a fake canal or something. But uh, no, it just looks like a pond, doesn't it? But yeah, some sort of fate going on. Some nice planting down here, another one of them ponds. As we get closer to the stadium, God, we're probably not even halfway yet. I mean, when you think how big that stadium is, Got a long way until we get there. It's lovely though, this is really nice. So looking back that way just shows how far we've come. You can just make out the top of the lift hill there for Lack Coaster. There's loads of people coming on this, coming the other way. Got some uh, boats down there, look. Again, they're not in operation. I suppose technically this is the last weekend of the summer holidays now, isn't it? It's the same sort of summer holidays here as it is back in the UK, I believe, from uh, speaking to a few people. Yeah, I've always enjoyed stuff like this. I just find it really quite relaxing, a nice, calm, smooth, enjoyable experience. Uh, but yeah, I look forward to the ski lift style one coming back. Like I say, these gondolas uh, can seat eight people, and then the other ones, uh, they can seat four. I think it's manufactured by CWA, from uh, some of the branding that I've seen around it. Normally, uh, Poma quite a few of these but yeah I'm pretty sure it's CWA and it says it up in the uh, in the corner there as well I'll have to do a bit more research it was quite hard to find a lot of information about it actually in English anyway but uh, yeah I'll carry on my ride show you a few more shots as we get close to the stadium there's another huge lake just over there and the part just carries on all the way as far as the eye can see it's ridiculous the scale of this I can't quite believe it and uh, yeah, we've been going for about 13 minutes so far on this cable car. So yeah, it's a good long ride and ridiculously good value. There's a path on the other side of the lake there as well that just keeps going up into the trees. Can't quite believe it. Hello there. <laughs> no, they can't hear me, but still. Yeah, I'd love to just hire a bike. That's something you can do here, actually. The bike hire is also very cheap. And uh, yeah, I'd love to do that and, and hire a bike and just cycle around this. But uh, yeah, there's the stadium. Yeah, it does look very similar um, to that as our Olympic Stadium that was for London 2012. Obviously, from what I can see there, it is quite a bit smaller, but uh, yeah, interesting just to see it. And there's the uh, other station. So like I say, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get off. I don't think there's anything of any relevance to really look around at uh, this end, but I'm gonna get it back. But this time I'm gonna sit on the uh, outside just there. Hopefully it won't be uh, too windy so you can actually hear what I'm saying uh, when I'm on the cable car coming back. Cause like I say, we're quite high on these and uh, yeah, like being outside on it without being in a gondola, it uh, should be quite fun. I'm looking forward to it. So we'll uh, see you on the return journey. Oh, here we go, we're getting even geekier now. This is the, obviously where they uh, store them on a night, and you can see what must be a maintenance one just over there as well that's quite interesting. There you go. Never seen one quite like that before. And uh, yeah, here's all the systems, so obviously that's where it comes in, and then on a night they just bring them in, a bit like a coaster transfer track. And then, uh, yeah, they all park in here on a night. So you're not allowed to stay on, you have got to walk round, because obviously you've got to scan your ticket, there was a turnstile. But I've just found out a bit about this stadium. It was built in 1956, uh, this one, and then it was shut for quite a few years. And uh, it was recently refurbished, actually, only last year in 2017. And it can uh, hold about 55,000 people. So, yeah, it's certainly a big stadium. There you go. You wouldn't think it from out here how big it actually is. But, uh, yeah, I suppose now I'm on ground level and looking at it. Yeah, I can tell because you look at like the uh, the style of the seat in here and how far that must go down. But uh, yeah, there you go. Right, let's have a bit of a walk round, scan my ticket and uh, get back on. Like I said, I don't think there's anything of any relevance to see down at this end. But uh, yeah, there's a little bike rack down there. So if you do cycle down here and hire one of the bikes, then you can uh, put your uh, your bike there and, and happy days, really. There we go. So there's the uh, machines, like I said, just when we're at the other side, there's all your different options down there. Spanish, Italian, German, French, all down there on the screen. You can pay contactless as well or just by card 
or cash as well and it will give you change. No dogs and roller skates though, and don't worry if you want to do some cleaning while you're here, look. There you go, got your silux just there. <laughs> just thought I'd come and show you these, let's have a look, there you go. This from the old system, I like how these are all different colours. Proper old school. Oh yes. Can't imagine being at that height and just a little bar like that to hold the end. No, it's all seized up. Crazy. Here I am then on the open gondola for my return journey back. And uh, yeah, like I say, four seats on this one. And uh, oh, I can't believe how smooth it is when it goes over the wheels. But uh, yeah, leather seats as well. Really nice. There's no seat belt or anything holding you in. Uh, but you have got a bar that's automatically locked. Uh, so that won't lift up during the ride. But uh, yeah, it's lovely. You feel a lot more exposed, obviously, you know, when you look all the way down there. But uh, yeah, it's nice. I really like this one. If you're only going to do a uh, one way on this, definitely go for uh, this version because you just get to see a lot more. And uh, yeah, you've got a bit of interaction as well with some of the other people coming the other way but uh, yeah about five minutes or so we'll be down towards Let Coast so fingers crossed we might see it uh, going round this time no my luck maybe not but uh, no matter what we'll get some nice aerial views of it and also the rest of Legendia as well Oh, and here's Let Coaster. I can't see it going round though. It's somewhere in the station. Not heard it go round for a little while though, so maybe they are about to send it. Oh, look at that, gorgeous views. Of course, that fantastic inversion that runs straight above the station. Looks very quiet in there today though. I mean, it's a Saturday as well. It's crazy, isn't it? Compared to how busy Energy Landia was. Oh yeah, some of the restraints are still up in the station. I think they're waiting for riders. Oh no, they're about to dispatch by the looks of it. Restraints have just come down. But yeah, what an impressive, beautiful coaster. I very much enjoyed my ride there on the cable car here in the park. It was fantastic. Uh, I loved the open gondola. That was certainly my favourite one. But uh, yeah, the other one was great. Uh, the indoor gondola was still nice. And obviously if it's raining, you don't want to be uh, sitting outside. But uh, that was fantastic. Very enjoyable. Uh, staff were really friendly on there as well. And uh, yeah, an overall enjoyable experience. It's now quarter to 12. So the whole process took about 45 minutes from coming through the gate, buying my ticket. I was only stopped at the other end about three or four minutes. Um, so yeah, it's a long ride and very good value as well. Uh, like I say, it transfers to about £3, so absolute bargain. But uh, what better place to end this series of vlogs from Poland than sitting here on a nice classic uh, chairlift. And uh, yeah, this is going to take me back to the UK, isn't it? Is it? Oh, may maybe not. Can you imagine that though, if there was a cable car that like went over the channel? It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Uh, I am very excited though for the new gondola system, uh, what's going to be opening next year at Walt Disney World. Very much look forward to the Disney Skyliner. Uh, if you don't know much about it, have a little Google about it. It's great uh, to see what they're doing, connecting the parks and, and hotel resorts as well. And I can't wait for that one. Hopefully that'll be open by the time me and Charlotte are there next September. But uh, yeah, what a better place to end the vlog than sitting here. Just wanted to just reminisce really and talk about the past four days. It's been amazing. I mean, Poland's a country that I've wanted to visit for quite a few years just to see the culture uh, more than anything. And uh, yeah, it's been really nice. I've not spoke to as many locals here as I would do like, maybe going to somewhere like Germany, Spain, Sweden. That's mainly because as much as quite a few of them speak basic English, uh, not enough to sort of have a, a, a conversation in a queue line and stuff. So I've not spoke to loads of locals that I like to normally try and do. But uh, yeah, it's been a very enjoyable trip. I've really enjoyed it. And of course, just sitting here now next to Legendia and Let Coaster, how awesome that was and fantastic ride. I couldn't get quite believe that first drop, how smooth it was, the theming around it, the operations at the park as well. Both parks operations have been fantastic. They 
they really have. Uh, of course, Energylandia down in Zeta, about 40 miles away from here, um, but visiting there, riding all of their roller coasters. Hyperion is a world-class top 10 coaster. Uh, I managed to get 10 rides on it, which I was really pleased about. And yeah, it was worth coming uh, to see all of it. I'd have come just for Let Coaster, to be honest. Say uh, Energylandia wasn't there, I would have come here to see this. And uh, yeah, very pleased that I've ended it on a nice cable car, and one that's got a bit of history to it. Like I say, when something closes, a lot of people have the memories and they get quite sad from it. Obviously, I don't have the memories from the old one, but I've created new memories with this new one. And I've also created memories to last a lifetime from my first ever trip to Poland and seeing two very good amusement parks. Of course, as always, if you've got any questions about the trip, comment down below on this video. And I highly recommend checking out the other videos uh, from this trip. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm only a few days away from my next foreign trip. This time, not a solo trip. I'm going with, of course, my girlfriend, Charlotte. Uh, uh, and also Martin and Leah as well. And we're going to, uh, well, about six parks that we're doing out there in the Netherlands on our big Holland trip. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it. Stay tuned for them videos here on the channel. It is gonna be absolutely awesome. And of course, stick with Theme Park Worldwide for lots of different theme park coverage. We're going to Florida in a few weeks as well, me and Alex, uh, coming back from that straight into the Halloween season and a very busy Christmas planned as well. It's crazy here for Theme Park Worldwide. I'd just like to say thank you to each and every one of you who subscribed to the channel, followed us on our social media and follows me on these awesome adventures i really enjoy bringing these to you guys i do it for the love and for the passion uh, and it's great to actually be sitting here now after an amazing trip and uh, yeah look back on all these memories I'll be, i love watching the vlogs back myself uh, and watching through some of the old ones and yeah it really is amazing all the memories so thank you very much for joining me i very much enjoyed it anyway i'm going to uh, yeah strap myself in on oh yeah, but maybe not. It doesn't go anywhere, does it? I'm going to uh, get the bus back up to the airport and make my journey back to the UK. Thank you very much for watching. This is Theme Park Worldwide. I'm from Poland. That means it's time to cue those credits. See you real soon.